paid 10 for a lot of 15 dinosaurs. This is the most valuable. Sold on eBay for $74.99 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's talk about some big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is so close to hitting 100,000 followers, members, whatever you call it. Go follow my Facebook group if you're not already. There's a link down below in my link tree. Um, we talk about bolos over there. I invited everybody to share their October Big Money Bolo with this post right here. And that is what we're going to talk about today. What did people find and sell for big money? Yeah, I love these videos. All right, so the first one here paid $4 for these boots and sold them in a week for $125. All right, Bolo Buddies, before I show you these boots and all these other big money Bolos, I would like to invite you to my whatnot show tonight. It is the bling show. Everything is going to be bling, 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 rhinestones and more. So come hang out tonight on whatnot at 9, 18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're not our if you are not already on Whatnot, you can use my referral link and get $15 to shop. That is linked down below. Hope to see you guys. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. It's super fun. It's live. You can chat with other people and it's a good time. So hope to see ya. Um, unfortunately, the only thing I can see is they say 1995 on the side. They look like cowgirl boots. They look leather and they look like Christmas to me. Aren't they cool? I don't know the brand. I apologize. Unless that is the brand. I don't know. I paid 50 cents at a garage sale this past weekend for a Starbucks mug. I just sold this Cario mug for a best offer of 75 plus shipping and still have several more to list. This is what it looks like. And it is a Global Icon Collector Series. Yes, some Starbucks mugs can be big money. Also, the Starbucks tumblers. Look them up if you see them. Got this anthropology faux fur throw at the Goodwill for 20. I paid up for it, saw it hanging on the rack, and knew it was something to investigate. When I saw that it was anthropology, I literally gasped. It didn't have tags, but it was in excellent condition. I listed it as used. Comps for new with tags were 150. I asked 90, was offered 70, and I accepted an offer. 50 isn't a bad return on a $20 investment. And this sold on Poshmark. Um, you can sell things besides clothes on Poshmark. Hard goods actually do really good over there on that platform. Paid $2.80 for this incredible Pettables Red Fox at a secondhand shop. His belly fur was still bright white, but he did have some gunk on the back of his head, which I disclosed. Sold in one day on eBay for full asking price of $55 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, the next one comes from Resell and Donkey Yells. She is also known as Horse Lover on Whatnot. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. And this is her eBay store. She said, I paid $2.99 for a huge bag of these and parted them out. This is the third group sold. Made over 100 so far. so far. One more to go. Happy bolo hunting, everyone. Transformers, Play School Heroes, Rescue Bots, Medics, Hoist, and Whirl. Hasbro toy figures. You guys hear me talk about these all the time in my bread and butter bolo videos. Now, I normally sell them individually. There are a few cars that you can get 20 to 35 a piece for, some of the harder to find ones. But she lotted them up and sold them for $28.35 plus shipping. Build-A-Bear Tan Hello Kitty found at the bins paid 75 cents and um, an item that day. Oh, okay. Okay, so they were at the bins. So basically, probably what they did was took their total purchase and divided it by the number of items. So 75 cents an item that day. Sold within two weeks for $175 international sale on eBay. It is a Build-A-Bear Hawaiian Sun Kiss Tan Hello Kitty. If you have not seen my Build-A-Bear videos, you got to go watch them. Some Build-A-Bear go for crazy money. Hello Kitty is definitely one to be on the lookout for. Bought this Jelly Cat last year from Goodwill for $1.11. Initially had it listed for $60 for 
per sold comps. It sat and sat. I lowered the price gradually until I listed it for 24. I made an offer to watchers for 22 this morning. They accepted. Not a huge profit, but I'm okay with it. My first jelly cat sale. So we talked about some build a bear or big money, some jelly cat go for crazy money. I'm talking hundreds of dollars for some jelly cats. So definitely an item to be on the lookout for. This one is just a mini small eight inch plush, but uh, definitely check out my jelly cat video. It's a category video. Put Bolo Buddies jelly cat in the search bar for YouTube and build a bear Bolo Buddies. And you will find these category videos that are going to teach you which ones go for big money. Piece of scrap. This is her YouTube channel. She is a Bolo Buddies member, which means she has joined memberships on the channel at level two or higher to get a shout out in this video. So check out her YouTube channel. I will link it down below in the description and I will also include her eBay store. But she does really well on Poshmark as well. She said, paid a dollar at an indoor yard sale. I accepted 55 plus $10 shipping on Facebook Marketplace within a day. She said, Rural Squirrel shared this bolo in her recent, oh, in your recent video. Thank you both. Okay, so I do a lot of videos where people share their bolos. And a Rural Squirrel also has a YouTube channel. She goes to the bins and finds amazing items. But one of the items she talked about was quilts, granny square quilts. And Piece of Scrap saw that video and then, went and found one at a yard sale and flipped it for $55. It's a granny square quilt vintage boho crochet Afghan blanket. So yes, shout out to both Piece of Scrap and A Rural Squirrel. Check them both out. I will link them down below. Got this for free. It sat in my money pile for several months. When I finally went to list it, there were not many comps to go by. Initially listed it as an auction with a wishful starting price. At the end of the auction, it had over 100 views and 30-something watchers, but no bids. I relisted it for a lower starting bid. I was offered 150 and accepted the offer. Buyer paid shipping. It is a um, Serial Experiments Lane Myth Wear Messenger Tote Bag. Never heard of that. Oh, it's an anime. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. The Money Worth, another Bolo Buddies member. Check them out. Link will be down below. They are on eBay, YouTube, whatnot, and Instagram as The Money Worth. I bought this beauty in a bundle of school at a school fundraiser. Paid 10 for a lot of 15 dinosaurs. This is the most valuable. Sold on eBay for $74.99 plus shipping. Yes, yes, yes. I love these. These are the hard plastic um, dinosaurs. I even do well with the animals. I love picking these up. Carnegie uh, Sa uh, Safari Limited Spinosaurus Dinosaur Model Figure, 2008 Retired Ultra Rare. And this is what it looks like. Here is another one from The Money Worth. Bought this at an Amazon return center on Dollar Day. 20 pack of 3M Scotch Bright Surface Conditioning Belts. No clue what that is. Sold on eBay for $79.99. So I'm guessing they paid a dollar for it at an Amazon return center. There you go. Somebody said, what are they? They said, special polishing belts to sharpen metal. There's our answer. All right. Here is another one from The Money Worth. Bought this at the Salvation Army for $4. Honeywell True filter and pre-filter pack for HPA 300 series air. Sold it for $55 on eBay. So this is an example of a new old stock item that was picked up at a Salvation Army. One more here from The Money Worth. Bought this at an Amazon return center. So let me ask you guys, are you, do you ever shop at pallet stores or um, like the bins stores? Not the Goodwill bins, but the pallet bin stores. If so, how do you guys do? Are you finding items that you can flip for big money? Let me know down in the comments. So this is an Amazon return center. I don't know if that's considered a, a bins store or not. When I see electronics or HB items that are new in package, I always check the barcode to see if it's worth picking up. Bought this for a dollar and sold it for 30 plus shipping. It is a Bay Bilis Pro Tooth Ultra Thin T-Blade Gold Fits Trimmer. So it's a trimmer. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what this is. 
This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. This is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel, but I will link her eBay store down below. I have am, I have been encouraging my biker hubby to go through his man cave garage and see if there is anything that is just taking up space that he would like to sell. So far, everything motorcycle related has sold very quickly, including this radio he took off of his bike's long ago. He said he paid about 300 for it many years ago, used it for many years, then stored it for many years, and it's still sold for 275 We are glad it has a new life with another bike. Win-win. Thanks, Courtney, for all you do. Thank you so much for sharing. That's a great tip. Get those things out of your garage. Got it for free. Sold it today for 25 Buyer paid shipping. Almost everything I have listed, I got for free. Well, that's great, but I can't see what it is. Um, it's a blazer and I can't see the brand, but it is pink and Barbie is really popular right now. So maybe that helped sell this item. So I'm not sure where it sold or what the brand is. Titles are always very helpful to keep this educational. So please, if you share a bolo, include all that information. It's been a good month for me. Bought this vintage HCL leather bucket bag at the Goodwill last year for $5. I knew nothing about it, but it looked fancy. It's been listed for close to a year. The inside has ink marks. I stated this and took pictures for the listing. I let it sit on Poshmark. I sold it for a full asking price of $85 plus buyer paid shipping. Yes, sometimes you just have to list it and forget it and just wait for the right buyer. Saw an ad online that said owner was giving away his deceased mother's decorations for free. I grabbed this light up building and a few other things and sold just this piece for $199. It is a Pulaski's Candy Shop, a Christmas Story Village, Department 56, complete and new from 2008. Wow. Gotta love free. Bought this vintage uranium ceiling light fixture from our local thrift store for 50 cents over the summer, finally listed last night and sold overnight for full asking price of 60 plus shipping. Vintage green uranium glass swirl ceiling light fixture glows under UV light. All right, you guys, I'm going to tell you right now that I've heard some chatter about selling uranium. Um, I've heard that it's completely fine and I've heard other people say that it's not fine. So what I'm going to say to you is do your research. Um, there have been YouTubers that have put videos out about this. You can check out some of those videos, see what they have to say. The answer I have for you is I don't know. <laughs> so do your research. And um, I know it's been sold for many, many years on eBay with no problem. So if it, there might be something new going on, I don't know. So check it out before you list it just to make sure. Hi, Courtney. Bought this oven a year ago at Goodwill. Paid $6.99 plus senior discount 20% off. I don't like paying over $5 for anything. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> How many people are the same? It's like $5. That is my limit. Okay. So um, I'm pretty cheap. I like to source cheap, but I will pay over $5 if the comps are good. Let me know what you guys like to pay for your items. It sat in my money pile until a month or two ago. I don't sell much on Poshmark, but it sold for full asking price. It's the season for cooking. Vintage Magnolite GHC Dutch Oven Roaster Pot. And it sold for $66 plus shipping. And yes, these uh, Magnolite, look them up. Some of them go for big bucks. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. She is a Bolo Buddies member. This is her YouTube channel. And you can find her links down below in the description. She has really cool what solds. We found most of these in the Goodwill bins, but some came from garage sales. We made a huge lot and sold for $80. Our out-of-pocket was around $10. Other than needing a big box, they're easy to ship. Um, they are Mattel, Hot Wheels, tracks, pieces, connectors, all of those different things. And you can find these at the Goodwill bins for sure. Here is another one from Nina's Jewels. This was an item my husband picked up at the thrift store for seven. It's a metal ribbon and incredibly heavy. We had two spools of it and listed them as quantity. 
It took a few months, but someone came along and purchased both for full price, resulting in a $160 sale. We were able to fit them in a flat rate envelope, so the shipping cost $8.30. So profit of $119 after shipping and fees because they do offer free shipping. EMC Electric Motion Company Plain Bond Ribbon, and this is what it looks like. I paid 39 cents each for these at a thrift store. So total 312 for eight boxes. They sold within an hour for listing price of 40 plus shipping. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is awesome. Vintage Commodore Christmas metal ornament hangers. Ornament hangers, vintage. How cool is that? Would you have walked past it or would you have picked it up? Let me know down in the comments. All right, let's do one more here. Hi, Courtney. Thank you for letting us know about Lovies. Um, I do have a video that talks about Lovies, which ones sell for big money. Uh, they are the little stuffed animals that are a blanket. That's what we call Lovies here in the reseller world. Bought at a church thrift store for $2. Lady contacted me. Her granddaughter lost her monkey. Sold on Mercari for full asking price plus shipping. It was in excellent condition and still smelled good. It is a Scentsy Buddy Mo the Monkey plush and sold for $39 plus shipping. And again and again and again, I will tell you guys, get your plush cross-posted to Mercari. And definitely Mercari, but even Poshmark. Um... Referral link down below, you'll get $10 to shop when you join Mercari with that and another $20 to shop on Mercari when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that is an awesome perk. That's 30 bucks. Poshmark, you get $10 when you join to buy. So it's a $10 credit to purchase items. And I also get money to shop when you guys use my referral links. So I appreciate it very much. And those two platforms are my other two platforms. I start my items on eBay, cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I use List Perfectly. There is a video down below that will show you how to use the catalog and how to cross post like I do. But the new Pro Plus plan is out for List Perfectly. So definitely check that out. Lots of great new features and... Um, that is new. So get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code BOLO Buddies. Check out that video. See if it's a good fit for you and then use that referral code and get your 30% off and sell, sell, sell. But plush on Mercari and Poshmark. Yes. And I've been seeing a lot of people posting vintage plush on Etsy and getting top dollar for them. So check out Etsy as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.